morning to you all students today i am going to teach you time of chapter 7 and this is video number 5 so students you all know what does the clock tell yes the clock tells us the time now see a clock tells us the time see the clock is telling the time what is the time here yes 5 o'clock it has numbers from 1 to 12 written on it see the number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 the short hand which tells the hours is called hour hand see this is the short hand which one is the short hand this one or this one yeah this one this one is the short hand and it what does it tell yes it tells the hour and this is called hour hand the long hand which tells the minutes is called the minute hand so see this one is the long hand and it tells the minute and it is called minute hand the minute hand takes 5 minutes to move from one number to the next see it takes 5 minutes like this to move from one number to the next it takes 60 minutes to complete one round of the clock see like this 5 4 3 2 1 Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. So it takes sixty minutes to complete one round. Okay, of the clock. It goes round the clock twenty-four times. in a day the hour hand takes 1 hour to move from one number to the next it goes round the clock two times a day the minute hand moves faster than the hour hand so this is minute hand and this is hour hand and minute hand moves faster than the hour hand in one hour the minute hand makes one complete round of the phase of the clock thus 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes now students i am going to give you some questions related to time from your maths course book checkpoint 5 start students fill in the blanks a clock helps to see Yes, very good. The time. The short hand which tells the hour is called yes, hour hand. And hour has dash minutes. So, students, and our hour has how many minutes? Yes, sixty minutes. The dash moves faster than the hour hand. Yes, very good. The minute hand moves faster than the hour hand. Minute hand moves faster than the hour hand. Now, students. i am going to teach you reading and writing time how to read and how to write the time let's start students reading and writing time the time shown by the wall clock and the digital clock is the same see this is a wall clock and this is a digital clock so it is written as 4 o'clock or 4 like this 
द डॉट्स सेपरेट द आर फ्रॉम द मिनट्स सी रीडिंग टाइम टू कंप्लीट आर्स वेन द मिनट हैंड इज एट ट्वेल्व एंड द आर हैंड इज एट एनी नंबर द टाइम इज रेड एज द नंबर फॉलोड बाई ओ क्लॉक नाउ सी हियर द आर हैंड इज एट फाइव एंड द मिनट हैंड इज एट ट्वेल्व सी द आर हैंड इज एट फाइव एंड द मिनट हैंड इज एट ट्वेल्व दस द टाइम इज फाइव ओ क्लॉक और फाइव सी इज इट फाइव ओ क्लॉक यस Reading time to half past the hour. When the minute hand reaches half way around the clock at six, the time is read as half past the hour. One hour is equal to sixty minutes. So, half past the hour indicates thirty minutes past the hour. The hour hand is between ten and eleven. See the hour hand is between ten and eleven. Yes, and the minute hand is at six. See the minute hand, the long hand. Yes, it is on. It is at six. Thus, the time is half past ten or thirty minutes past ten, and is written as ten thirty. So, see students, is it ten thirty? Yes. Reading time to quarter to the hour. When the minute hand is at nine, the time is quarter to an hour or fifteen minutes to an hour. The hour hand is just before four. See, the hour hand is just before four. See here, it is written four, and it is just before four. And the minute hand is at nine. See, the minute hand is at nine. Yes. Thus, the time is quarter to four, or fifteen minutes to four, and is written as three forty-five. See, the short hand is at uh, uh, the short hand is before four. Yes, just before four, and the long hand, that is minute hand, is at nine. So, this is read as three forty-five, or quarter. Four. Reading time to quarter past the hour. When the minute hand is at three, the time is quarter past an hour or fifteen minutes past an hour. The hour hand is slightly after ten. See, the hour hand is slightly after ten. Yes, and the minute hand is at three. See the minute hand, the long hand. Yes, at three. Thus, the time is quarter past ten or fifteen minutes past ten, and is written as ten fifteen. See, is it ten fifteen? See, the hour hand is slightly after ten. Yes, and the minute hand is at three. so we can say quarter past 10 or 15 minutes past 10 now students take out your maths course book and do checkpoint 6 read the clock and write the time in both the ways so see the clock students what is the time given Yes, the hour hand is at three and the minute hand is at twelve. So what is the time? Yes, three o clock or three. So you have to write in two ways. So how you will write? First of all, you will write like this: three o clock or three like this. now come to the next yes so what is the time here in this clock just see the clock 
yes the r hand is between 7 and 8 and the minute hand is at 6 so just tell me what is the time yes half past 7 7 or yes 7 30 you can write okay now come to the next see the time students here what is the time given yes the hour hand is just before 7 and the minute hand is at very good 9 so what is the time quarter to 7 quarter to 7 or you can write 6 45 because 15 minutes left okay to 7 that is what 6 45 now come to the last yes so see the our hand is slightly after 12 yes after 12 okay and the minute hand at 3 so what is the time yes quarter past 12 quarter past 12 so here you will write like this quarter past 12 or 12 15 okay students now after this I am just going to teach you AM and PM Let's start students, AM and PM. So do you know the full form of AM and PM? So the full form of AM is anti-meridium and the PM is post-meridium. One day has 24 hours. The hour hand moves twice around the clock in a day. 12 o'clock at night is called midnight. 12 o'clock at night is called midnight. 12 o'clock during the day is called noon. After midnight starts a new day. So from midnight till 12 noon the time is written using AM. That is anti-meridium. From 12 noon till midnight the time is written using PM. Post meridian. For noon and midnight, we do not write AM or PM. For example, 5 o'clock in the morning is written as 5 AM and 5 o'clock in the evening is written as 5 PM. So students, some questions from AM and PM. I am giving you from your maths course book, checkpoint 7. Now start students, write AM or PM. Brushing your teeth at 7.30 AM or PM? Yes, AM. We brush our teeth in the morning. At 7.30 a.m. Having lunch at 2.30. At what time you take lunch? 2.30 a.m. or p.m.? Yes, p.m. So here we will write p.m. Going to school at 8.30. In the morning we go to school? Yes. So we will write here. 8.30 a.m. I'm going to bed at 9. 
Yes, very good. PM in the land. So here we'll write PM. Students, today I have taught you about time. How to read and write time. Now students, note down your homework. Hey students, your homework is worksheet 7.3, question number B, page number 30. And the next worksheet is 7.4, question number A, B and C, page number 31 and 32. So students, this homework you have to do in your maths application book B.